Welcome back to Echo Base Network, guys. I'm your host, Nick, and today we're going to be hitting on the release of Star Wars Outlaws. The official story trailer dropped today. Uh, I'm not going to play the whole thing. Uh, I don't know if, if I'll get copywritten or they'll claim it or whatnot, but it's out there. I'm sure most of you guys have seen it. If you haven't, go check it out. Uh, let me start with some of the positives uh, that I saw in this trailer. Uh, let's see here. Empire era. Uh, the scene right here in this uh, little courtyard pathway area with the stormtroopers looks good. I'm guessing that's Han Solo. So I'm guessing this takes place between Empire and Jedi. Same time frame as uh, Shadows of the Empire. Uh, the Jabba scene it, uh, looked good. Looks like they did a good job on him. Jabba's little throne room. This doesn't look bad with the TIE fighters and stuff here. Uh, some of the visuals, mainly <clears throat> the positives for me have been on the visuals. Uh, everything else, uh, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in this game at all. I'm not interested in playing this character right here. Uh, of course, it's going to be a strong whammon uh, character. And of course, uh, looks like the bad guys are all the all the male characters here. Let's look at some of the comments here. This one right here is probably the best one. I can't wait to buy this game two months after release. Uh, after release uh, for, I guess, they it was a typo there. Uh, but... Uh, with a 90% discount. Uh, remember, never pre-order from Ubisoft. Remember, this is from the company that said consumers need to get used to not owning games. Remember, no pre-orders. Bold of U Ubisoft to open the trailer uh, with their corporate pitch meeting for the game. But I appreciate the honesty. <laughs> The entire thing screams a trope list of the last 15 years of tropes. Oh no, the sandworm from Jedi Academy is back. Oh look, it's Tatooine again. Honestly, I'm not sure. I really care. Two reasons. I have no brand trust in Ubisoft. Same. Disney has ruined my passion for Star Wars. Big time. It looks like as of right now, the positives outweigh the negatives for this. Uh... I'll be curious how many of these people actually buy the game day one. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not interested in playing this at all. Um, but I also want to look at these other two articles over from our buddy John of Trent over at That Park Place. Social media analyst accuses Lucasfilm and, and Disney of using bots to promote Ubisoft's upcoming Star Wars Outlaw game. So it looks like Disney. I'm not gonna read this whole article. Uh, I highly recommend you guys go to that park place and read this in its entirety. Uh, but it looks like Ubisoft is teasing new story trailer will be dropping tomorrow, April 9th, for the upcoming Star Wars game, Star Wars Outlaws. This game is said to be set in a gritty underworld setting, uh, deviating from traditional Jedi-focused Star Wars stories. However, it would seem, and it goes on... However, it would seem Disney and Lucasfilm might not be too confident in the game as the bots are once again out in force uh, running interference for the game. These bots seem to be claiming that enhanced graphics and NVIDIA's advanced AI technology will make the game worth playing. Will the force be strong with this one? And it looks like there's just a whole bunch of checkmarked and uncheckmarked bots. I guess they have identified all these as bot accounts. The galaxy is full of opportunity. Star Wars Outlaws is launching with performance multiplying NVIDIA DLSS3 ray tracing and reflex. Ooh, I'm definitely getting it now just because of that. It looks like they're going on and on about all this, uh, all the graphics and stuff for the game. But yeah, I honestly just don't care about the graphics. I mean, I'm more interested in the story. You know, if they're going to give us a Star Wars Outlaws game, you know, do it pre-episode four and give us Han and Chewie. 
you know, and and how they ended up losing Jabba's cargo and, you know, basically having to pay him back, you know, because they were boarded. You know, give give us something like that. Uh, I mean, th- that would be something I'd be interested in playing. You know, and then you got the the war between the Empire and the Rebellion going on, you know, kind of behind the scenes, but it's not really a focal point. You know, you might cross paths with, with that uh, throughout the journey, but, man, give me Han and Chewie. I, I don't know this chick here and this little fraggle looking whatever um and then this robot here i mean in the ship design it's basically just like a a rectangle i mean it's terrible ship design this little bike thing is very motorcycly earth looking um but you know whatever uh at least this is better design than this ship of hers which looks terrible but also another article that we got from our brother john of trent over at that park place is the community manager shauna jones appears to have animus against white men in numerous social media posts so this is the outlaws uh star wars outlaws community manager shauna jones and again i'm not going to go through the whole entire article Uh, Like I said, go over to that park place and check these out for yourself. Uh, Shauna Jones, here's uh, pretty much her job description and her resume, basically. Uh, Okay, yeah, this is her profile on LinkedIn. So, yeah, this is her resume right here. Looks like she's been there full time for the last four years, four months. Uh, and Kooks, another woke community manager that I found yesterday working on Star Wars Outlaws and Avatar Frontiers of Pandora with her LinkedIn page where she wrote down all her responsibilities. Confirms everything Grums just stated. Uh, and then it goes on to show links for diversity matters, uh, her talking about people's white privilege. You know, pretty much the norm of the modern day social justice warriors. And then uh, it's all YouTube's fault. And then there's a whole strew of tweets by her. So apparently she caught wind of this. And since uh, all that was posted, she has now protected her her account on X. Uh, Nevertheless, these posts appear to indicate that Jones has held animus against white males for quite a number of years, clearly views diversity as anti-white. Absolutely ridiculous that we are having to deal with this in today's time. She even concludes the article writing, so yes, white supremacist diversity is indeed white genocide, and white genocide is exactly what the world needs more than anything else. Are you serious? That last statement right there so yes white supremacists diversity is indeed white genocide and white genocide is exactly what the world needs more than anything else can you imagine saying about saying that about any other race or color uh absolutely despicable uh i I am not going to support this game at all i i can't support anything that a lot of these gaming studios and even movie studios do these days. Uh, I I just can't do it. We're literally living in a clown world, uh, and this is absolutely despicable. But, you know, anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about, you know, Sarah Jones, the community manager, uh, and then Microsoft, or not Microsoft, but uh, Lucasfilm and Disney using bots to promote the upcoming game. And then, of course, the game itself. Is this something that you're looking forward to, something that you're planning on getting, or something that you're going to be passing on? Uh, As for me, I am not going to spend a dime on this game. I will not be playing it. Uh, I'll keep playing, uh, you know, Stellar Blade or Final Fantasy VII Rebirth or retro games. So with that said, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. 
uh, as we always say here, we are UR Echo Base Network. Until the next one, we'll see you guys later.